people have been saying for a while now, if you eat Rice Krispies before the gym, you get a crazy pump. Today, we're gonna be testing. Is this just some cheap myth giving gym bros the excuse to cheat on their already shitty diets? Or do Rice Krispies truly give you a good pump? Now obviously, when running experiments, one has to account for variables. Variable one, what type of pre do I usually take? The past two weeks, I've been taking non-stimulant pre-workout, so beta alanine, pump formula, that type of shit. Before that, I was taking high stimulant pre-workout. Today, we will be taking no pre-workout, except for variable one, accounted for. Variable two, what are we hitting? And when's the last time we did? So today, since we're going for a pump, we're gonna do a little bit of everything upper body, except for legs. I guess that's what upper body is. Yesterday, I did take a rest day, so we should get pretty juiced here. Now, in order to help the pump, I am gonna wear a tight shirt. I'm recovering from a bulk right now, so we're gonna see if I can even put this fucker on. Holy fuck. Okay. Definitely a fun experiment to run, because these are fucking delicious. Contains soy. Gotta avoid soy at all costs. Number two. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll do four. Fat bastard. <laughs> We're on some Mythbusters shit today. I'm Jamie Heineman. And I'm Adam Savage. We're gonna find out what happens when you strap a rocket to a 67 Chevy. Let's get at it. That actually feels something. Hey, quick check in. I'm not even done with biceps yet. I thought this experiment was gonna be bullshit, but this shit feels ridiculous. We're gonna keep going. Gonna move into triceps. Tries are definitely feeling it too. We're gonna hit them one more time, get into back or chest, and make an assessment. We have more in the tank. Oh man, that shit's actually working. Okay, this is working way better than I thought it would. We're gonna see what kind of chest punk we can get rice crispied up on the flat. <laughs> better than I thought. Just got done benching. Pretty impressed with even the chest pump. Uh, we're gonna do some pull-ups for back and to reactivate the the reactivate the buys a little bit. This is actually way better than I thought it would be. I thought this was gonna be a flop for sure. We're gonna move into buys and forearms. One final pump.
Okay, let's try to take this shirt off if we can. And uh, yeah, check the pump. Ooh, not too shabby. Would say it started off better than it finished. In the beginning, the biceps were actually feeling gnarly. Uh, this could have been placebo, but they felt pretty good. We did not get too vascular either. That's usually how I judge a pump. The pump felt really good. I'm used to taking pre workout and I took none before that. The Rice crispy was it. So for that reason, it's pretty good. It's like an average pump. My dog's crying. Well, let's, let's go get this little guy. What's up? Hey. What's up, buddy? Let's say in conclusion, um, you can give it a try yourself. Obviously, that is the best way to figure things out. But um, if you have pre-workout that you like, you might as well stick to that because Rice Krispies are not meant to be pre-workout and they're not good for you. You know, it's fucking candy at the end of the day. So uh, I'd recommend staying away from them. But, you know, if you wanna get a wicked pump, try something new. Give it a shot. They're poison, all right? They have soy in them. Soy is bad. The government's trying to kill us all. Stay safe.